The construction of Akibwa Stadium has been one of the little matters in Lango sub-region. Since November last year, when government announced the stadium would be excluded from hosting AFCON games, leaders and locals came out to show dissatisfaction by the decision. Several statements, press conferences and campaigns were held. So it must remain in the list. Otherwise, if they change, that means even what they use for lobbying is a fake document. Hand a hook or crook, we are not going to give up. The beauty is that we already have the name Akibwa. It also provided a soft landing for opposition politicians. And make no mistake about this. We continue talking about Akibwa's name. This is a boundary. So this is one of the roads used to do up. Government has since maintained its stand that the stadium would be constructed. Today is a day for action. And the biggest action I've come along with is nothing other than the contractor. On Thursday, in the company of officials from National Council of Sports, Sports Minister Peter Wang unveiled the Egyptian constructor that will begin the construction process immediately. Okay, Lord. Are, you, are you clear? We are very serious. I am again this time. CAF, Confederation of African Football, has given me 31st December 2025 to have my facility ready for 20 what? 27. So for me, what I'm signing with the contractor is 20 months, so that I also have at least two months for purpose of checking whether they have completed their work. As they are busy constructing the stadium, there must also be works on around the what? Other facilities. I need power to be connected here. I need water to be connected there and other amenities. Fortunately, police is near. We will never fail. We need to expand it to the, to the, to the level of an airport. The airport is able to land national or commercial planes. Ogwang said the decision was taken and His Excellency President Chuwe Kagota Museveni directed that the stadium together with the surrounding facilities should be worked on with immediate effect. What has been happening, we have been looking for financial to fund the project. And I'm happy we have got the financial to fund the project. No wonder we are on site. The leadership of Lira District donated 18 acres of land for the construction of a stadium in memory of former Olympic gold medalist John Nakibwa. We want to see a modern stadium here. But you are the same people who said no Akibwa, no vote. Now you are getting Akibwa, you must vote 100%. The construction of Akibwa Stadium was a presidential pledge of 2009 in honor of the late Olympic gold medalist. Unveiling the contractor on Thursday, Minister Wang said the facility will be a multi-purpose center of excellence for sports in the country. Ed Yolua, UBC News.